There's something so lovely about meeting with a couple who's coming to you for help with co-parenting around divorce, mm -hmm. who comes in the first time and says, we want, that we whatever it's gonna cost us, mm -hmm. we wanna do this the right way for the kids. For the kids. Right. We're just keeping them front and center. I love it when I can get a couple before they've even separated mm -hmm. and they're, they've talked about it. Yeah. Um, because how that is set up uh, sets the tone in a way versus yeah, right. I might see a couple after a really bad separation and yeah. how they handled it with the kids and they're both and then maybe they're both regretful yeah um, but you can't take that back is there a better time to get divorced you know I've heard um, infants I've heard definitely not when they're teenagers is there is there a, is there a best time there is no great age for divorce but mm -hmm. it, developmentally speaking um, you know there are some kids when you divorce young enough and if people do it well mm -hmm. that's all they know they don't remember yes. their parents yeah. together. together whereas yeah. you might have a six seven or eight year old who can remember that life and yet mm -hmm. they haven't developed to a place neurologically where they can think abstractly like maybe an 11 or 12 year old could so like mm -hmm. an 11 or 12 year old might be able to understand this isn't about me this is right. about that whereas you've got this latency age kid who how um just because how they resolve things mm -hmm. they make themselves they're the center of their world right. and it becomes very concrete if i'm a better child maybe they'll stay, together. stay together it's not necessarily anybody should wait it's it's that you might be handling it differently and saying different things to help your children understand it at different ages. At different ages. I mean, I think one of the things that's hard for kids about divorce is that for most other decisions that kids are aware of that impact mm -hmm. a family, it's about what's for the kids' benefit. Mm -hmm. They can see that. You know, right. what, yeah. what school am I going to, or right. what this, you know, or what vacation, or yeah. whatever. But yeah. the divorce is really a decision that kids can very, very clearly see. This was, this is not something I'm choosing, which right. I think is really hard. It does, yeah. you, people need help doing that. It's hard too because I think when a lot of couples get to the point where they're going to get divorced, it's not just that they don't have the same point of view, but they're almost not in the same world Anymore. of their point of view, right. and they yeah. really desperately want validation for the truth of how they, they are see. experiencing yeah. the marriage. Yeah. And I think one way people can come to that is a validation of saying, you know, I deserve the kids more or I deserve right. to make a decision or I'm right about this or I'm yeah. right about mm -hmm. this. And so that can have a lot of weight when people are thinking about mm -hmm. custody arrangements mm -hmm. or really anything. They want to be right. Well, there's a couple families that come to my mind that um, from a long time ago and one family, and this they obviously had the means to do that. This uh, they made the commitment that the kids would stay in one house. Mm -hmm. They never had to move. That's yeah. really amazing. The research really supports that. that yeah. uh, you know, eventually they moved to a week on, week off, but they started with mm -hmm. other ones. And you know, there was a lot of ground rules. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they weren't going to bring their new partners on their weeks there. And so, right. you know, they made, even though they're divorced, they're still a family. Yeah. And so they were sort of really interested in this new family model that takes means and yeah. you know I think uh, a lot of work and they did have to do a lot of work especially as the kids got older and yeah. people met people and yeah. the other thing that I have seen work really well has been when um, the parents like I said earlier can separate mm -hmm. their problems versus yeah. like as a husband and wife yeah. versus a mom and dad Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you know, oftentimes the parenting is a huge problem, but sometimes it's not. And mm. I've seen, I've seen dads go help paint mom's new apartment and yeah. I've, they help each other move. They do yeah. family dinners once a month. Yeah. I mean, so it just like it, and it's hard for some people. It's not easy. There's yeah. a flexibility about the families. You yes. know, it's not necessarily any one mm. thing, but it's yeah. kind of the idea that, exactly. you know, they'll kind of take one for the team. You know, it's clear that they can see and be open to the idea of what their kids need, mm. you know, and, and understand that what the things that kids need around divorce are knowing that their parents are holding them in their minds mm -hmm. and really thinking about what their experience is going to be like mm. at any given moment and really thinking ahead about what's going to be best for them and making things as seamless and predictable for the kids as possible. Well, where the where the where it goes a little sideways is when the the best interest of the child is not agreed upon. Someone mm -hmm. might yes. that that's yeah. a real tricky one of like yeah. we're holding our children in mind 
but what, what I think is yeah. best may not be what you think is yeah. best. And yeah. so, um, and both may have good points. Nothing, I think, in a marriage or in a divorce is equal. Mm. And I think if people are able to set that expectation aside, right. yeah, you know, it's it's not about the time has to be 50 50 or if i give you this day you have to give it back right Mm. it's it's the flexibility and and it's not taking it personally if somebody wants dad or mom this is kamna from kamna live and this is your destination for bs free conversations about all the things you care about if you liked what you saw give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel potter around and see what else we have here and of course tell your friends cheers